Um, do I even have, oh, I do have a first impression. That's right, I have a first impression that I'm actually very excited about. So let's do that, let's do first impressions. All right, so this is gonna be a, a very, very literal first impression. Uh, a guy by the name of Professor Vape sent over some, uh, it's interesting. He, he sent me an email and I was kind of like, why, what are you, why, why are you doing that? What are you doing? So he rebuilds coil heads, but it's not coil heads like uh, Atlantis or sub tank coil heads. These are old school sort of uh, pro tank heads. Um, so this is what he included. There's a tank in here. So let me just read this. Our handcrafted coils are made by using resistance, non-resistance setup. That's good. That's when you have a coil with resistance wire in between wires with no resistance wire so that you don't sort of, you know, sometimes when you build rebuild pro tank head or EVOD heads, you, 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 you have the possibility to scorch your uh, scorch your rubber grommets that are in there so this completely prevents that um, organic cotton wick the wick can be easily replaced and the coil can be dry burned rinsed or cleaned some people have had the same coil for up to six months now but on average they last one to three months we recommend changing the cotton wick once a week uh, when you are changing juices to keep the flavor fresh and to stop gunk from building up on the coil that's basic uh, rebuilding 101 our sub ohm coils sub ohm coils on a kanger pro tank uh, are the same concept. We recommend our customers to be a little careful if they choose to dry burn the coils and they can get very hot. Only fire the device for a couple of seconds, so pulse it. We advise customers rinse the coil, dry, and re-wick. Uh, these coils can fit fit the same devices. However, for customers to get the best experience, we recommend devices with more air flows like our sub-tank. Uh, dual coil adapter. The dual coil adapter. Dual coil adapter? That must be what this is. Is simple. It just fills the gap to make a single coil fit a dual coil device without any leaking. These blue bands simply slot over the chimney and you're good to go. I apologize. These are currently cut by hand, uh, but they will machine cut to precision in a couple weeks. Um, so they include uh, a sub tank that is the Smoke Trophy tank. Version 2. They have modified it to give more airflow. Let's open it. This is the smoke uh, trophy tank, which I have never used in my entire life. And this is, if you want to talk about first impressions, everybody, this is uh, this is the most true first impressions you'll ever see. So that's the smoke tank. Yeah, looks like a looks like a pro tank. Looks like a pro tank. Let me dispose of those. Yep. There you go. So your base goes in. Your, I mean, it's very, very straightforward. I don't think that comes off. How did they modify this to get more airflow? That's the only thing I'm wondering. Okay, so let's pick a coil here. Let's pick a 0 0.4 ohm coil. Why not? How about a 0 0.4 ohm coil? Is this going to fit in here? Huh. It fits in there, so they just look like regular coils. You're not gonna be able to see that because it's blurry as all hell. They look like regular coils. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to, uh, I'm just gonna plug this into the base here. They look like regular coil heads. Regular smoke tech coil heads. So all I'm gonna do is kind of plug this into the base just like you used to, just like back in the day. But these are organic cotton, and this is a 0 0.4, 0 0.4 ohm coil head in there. That, that is kind of crazy. Um, he did send me some juice, but I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm just gonna throw, I'm just gonna throw some Namber Juice Monterey Beach Blend in there. I haven't vaped this juice in quite a while, and uh, I'm interested to uh, see how it feels at six milligram in this particular coil head. So what I'm gonna need to do, I'm guessing, is, uh, hmm. so I'm gonna let this sit. I'm gonna let this marinate for a second. 
Okay, it's on there. They're poking out the bottom. I, I kind of want to just let this sit and marinate for a bit. I want to get the. I want to let the juice flow in there. Um, so he's got uh, the coils. What's included? Professor Expert's mini tank. Uh, which is a smoke mini trophy tank. We remove the original coil and replace with our own handcrafted micro coils. Um, so you're probably asking, why would I buy pre-built coils if I can just rebuild my own coils? Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing with that. And he sent me some juice, breaking beakers, strawberry, breaking beakers, six milligram. Here's the thing with that. Um, yeah, you can rebuild your own coil heads. People have been doing it since the dawn of man. I have a video out there on how to rebuild your own coil heads. In fact, leading into the next thing, I'm going to be talking about that. Um, I may not do a full, full review for this for this product, but uh, what I am going to do... Oops, let me get some batteries here. What I am going to do is vape it right now. And additionally, the next thing I'm going to be talking about, the coiling kits, I'm not going to do a full video for it either because I don't really feel like they necessitate their own full review. And later on, I'm going to be talking about this thing right here. This is a Tesla wooden 120 box. We're going to be talking about why I hate this thing. But... For the sake of this video, I'm going to be using it. Now I'm terrified. I'm just terrified. So I'm going to... Nope, oh, that's up. I'm going to turn this down. I'm going to turn this way down. I'm going to turn this way down to like 30 watts. And I'm terrified of getting a dry hit right out of the bat. So I'm going to try to get some juice flowing in there. I see some bubbles happening. I know this is thrilling vlog time, thrilling, for, especially thrilling for the audio people. You know what? I'm just going to let that marinate. I'm just going to let that marinate for a second. We're going to. So, let's get back to this real fast. Let's get back to this real fast. I've let it sit, I've let it soak. I'm going to try to take a toot. I definitely feel some uh, some sloppy gurgliness in there. Holy shit! So that's a three. That's a that's a zero point four ohm coil at thirty watts. It's giving me not even three point seven volts. It's giving me three point five volts. And it's still like a traditional mouth to lung vape. It's not a, it's not a straight up lung inhale like you would with an RDA. Not at all. But the the performance that I'm getting, dude, I wonder how high this could go. 40 watts? Ooh. 40 watts is giving me 4 volts at 0 0.4 ohms. Okay, I'm gonna turn this back down to 30 watts. I bet I could rock this on a Mac and it would be just fine. What I'm gonna do is post a link in the description. I, uh, I have the same outlook that I always have with everything that ever comes across my table. I'm skeptical but optimistic. I was very skeptical of these, Mr. Professor Vape. I'm not gonna lie. In fact, I was reluctant to even accept these to show on video because I'm like, Pre-built pro tank heads at sub ohms. Who's gonna? Nobody's gonna use that. This <laughs> is rocking and rolling. Uh, you have horrible prisoners cards, Professor. So I'm gonna post a link, professorvape.org, where you can check them out. If you have a pro tank or a pro tank two or something sitting around, and you want some sub ohm coil heads for them with good non-resistance to resistance to non-resistance wire, which is insanely difficult to do at home. The flavor is nice, the vape is warm. I'm doing it like traditionally like you would on a cigarette, mouth first, then the lungs. I can't believe that. 
I literally cannot believe that. That tastes great. And it's not, it's wicking well too. I'm scared of it going dry. That is crazy. Uh, I'm going to keep using this. I'm going to